I feel like a lot of people are more worried about controlling what everybody else thinks, regardless of the truth. And I don't know how people. Right. Do. How, do you, how do you square that with yourself? You know, there's a freedom in putting it all out there. There's a freedom that you can't be manipulated and blackmailed and other things when you just dump your life out there. And, you know, this this wasn't some calculated thing. Oh, good. I'm going to just throw my life out there so no one can screw me over with. It just happens in radio a lot of times. If you're in radio long enough, especially a personality driven show and you're pretty honest on it, uh, eventually you're just going to spit it very you're going to have spit everything out. Uh, there's slow news days. There's, you know, someone's not in that day, whatever it is, you just start going, ah, oh, God, there was this time I went out with this girl and you're just spilling everything out there. Yeah. Uh, and there, there is a freedom to that. After a while, you just go, yeah, it's kind of nice. I think I've put everything out there and there's no secret weapon against me. That anyone's going to be like, aha, I found this. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. It feels better. You know, like I could never lie about anybody just to say, oh, yeah, here we go. The, this and, you know, like because you see some of these people saying some of the things they say now. I'm yeah. looking at, by the way, I have a quick uh, the uh, the Anthony Cumia quiz here. OK. Ooh. All right. So Aaron Imholt is the host of uh, Steel Toe. Steel Toe Morning yes. Show. OK. Oh, OK. So this. So my next question is, uh, that's the lead up. Who hosts the Steel Toe Morning Show? Uh, <laughs> Aaron Imhole. It's, it's in and out. Now, but when he was working. With Easiest you, Jeopardy ever. Your, your version of Jeopardy is very easy. <laughs> What's your take on him? Uh, I'm just curious. I know you started paying attention more to this dabble verse stuff lately. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. are starving for this shit. And, oh, I know. I know. I didn't know who Aaron was from a hole in the wall. Apparently, Bob Levy and Aaron did a show at some point in their lives. And that show was supposed to have, I think they sent an audition thing in for Compound Media, the two of them, like together. And I don't think I ever saw it. I don't remember ever seeing it. And I think maybe Keith looked at it and was just like, yeah, this, no, this isn't a show we want to have. And I'm like, okay. But I never heard of this guy. Apparently he was a big fan, <clears throat> big fan of mine, O&A over the years. Uh, and then when all this shit went down with his wife, I did do their show once uh, when his wife was on him in April. And yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll do your show. Fuck it. And uh, we talked with Pleasant. We had a good time. April seemed nice and she was pretty, you know. Yeah. And then uh, then all this shit busts loose that she's doing coke with this lawyer guy, this like fucking weird sexual lawyer guy. Yeah, weird sexual. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I was just like, and then lately I've been catching a lot of the Aaron thing through who are these podcasts and yeah. uh, what have you. And so I'm just like, oh, he seems like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's never been a piece of shit to me personally, but I would assume other people would see him as a piece of shit. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> yes, and they. I concur. <laughs> but they can't stop, you know, being interested in him. Yes, and, yes. You know, especially in clips, you know, like just like with Stuttering John. And just like with Stuttering John, he's bulletproof to like anything that might give him uh, any self awareness at all. You know what I mean? Or uh, any sort of comment that might sort of, uh, I don't know, nothing wakes him up. Nothing makes him not say it's another win for the toe. You know, he just thinks everything's a win. And it's fascinating, I guess. It, uh, it is. It is. We just love watching people trip over their own dicks over and over and over again. Uh, I don't know why. Look, we've all been in the in the barrel in our lives. The the trick is to crawl out of it and get back on your way. You know, the whole thing we were talking about earlier when I got arrested uh, in 2015 or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, that was a time where a lot of people could say a lot of funny or bad or nasty or whatever shit about me. You know, I was out there shitting on everyone else. And I'm part of the media 
And then something happens to me, and hey, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> so yeah. I get it. But you you get up and you dust yourself off and you try to find another asshole in a barrel that you can start pointing at and calling an a piece of shit. And you're like, 25 years on the radio. Do they call me Anthony the broadcaster? <laughs> <laughs> call me Anthony the, you Anthony the, the, the do they call me pissy eyed Anthony? No, they call me <laughs> girl. Now, to, be fair, to be fair, Anthony, in light of your arrest, the only thing I did was do a Photoshop of little Beavis visiting you in jail. That's all that's. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I, I do remember that one. You had some great Beav. Uh, oh, I, I <laughs> the late so Abonanima Beavis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, yeah, it's it's something, though. And, and it's, uh, I think that Aaron is. If there is to be a new stuttering John, yeah, he's, he's it. Oh, yeah. He's got he's that geared quality. up. He's got the he quality. Is, yeah, yeah. He's definitely gearing up to be um that, you know, to take the place. It's it's amazing. Like the and and uh Zumox, another one though, that's just astounding to me. Like, to 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 be so far down. Uh, on the interest level of anybody. Now, I'm not saying he's good or bad. Or do this. I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying no one knows who the fuck Chad Zumak is. And, you know, Florentine throws him a bone every so often. I guess, first of all, as a comic, you know, you don't want someone up there that's so much better than you. You don't want a person. You would like a person that's not going to drive the crowd away. Right. But you definitely don't want him killing. No. And they could work cheap and they're willing to, you know, go wherever you are because they, you know, want to be on your your coattails. Yeah. And that's kind of, I guess, what Florentine's doing with uh, Zumak. But Zumak acts like he's world renowned. <laughs> it's amazing to me. It really is never ending. The uh, Yeah. And, and just he, he loves to work. He loves to go out and do I'm glad we did this sold out show. How many tickets did you sell? Yeah. Yeah, free. So, I mean, like, <laughs> I, I, it, it's insane. I went, I went over his uh, show that he did in Atlantic City. I, I on the stream, I just like watched or listened to the whole thing. It was a video, but it was like mostly just listening. And I was like, Yeah, this is open mic shit. Yeah, yeah. Been doing comedy for I don't know how long, and I was, I was really just kind of like correcting the jokes, making suggestions. Drop this. Right. Drop everything. Start all over again. Write it from your uh, your perspective now. But he's right. a clear criminal. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a piece of shit. Another one that's just a piece of shit and has not been able to crawl out of the barrel and point at another piece of shit. Yeah. It, he just keeps trying to point, and the fingers go right back at him. And he loves to point. Oh my god, does he love to? That's oh, his, yeah, he yeah. lives for this shit more, maybe more than anybody. Uh, he's a, he's a great character in the whole. In the whole oh. scenario. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have any... Uh, was, the sad was, thing is he still can't beat out Stilto for second place after Stilto. No, <laughs> no. He's in devil. <laughs> he's not as interesting. He does, no. You know, he's a low-level, I'll steal your credit card out of the gym locker uh, <laughs> at a gym. What a, what a just scumbag move that is. But if you have your wife divorces you and goes in cocaine and fucking some, like, destroyed ruined lawyer allegedly uh that's interesting that's fucking interesting i want to hear more about that yeah and and seemingly with his full cooperation you know like april meet uh this guy who's gonna cock me oh god and then when she wouldn't go with him it sounds like because you know she's all wrapped up in coke and you know strange dick at that point because you know how yeah. it is when you're married you're like you know, you know who really rings your bell sexually, who really makes your motor run is anybody but your spouse. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Men not being my husband really turns me on. Right, right. And add a little cocaine and whoo, yeah. you super. That's like a double, triple time score on a Scrabble or something. Yeah. It's like, well, <laughs> the letter's worth this, but you add cocaine, it's triple score now. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's the letter, but three, four times more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're going to triple Q on that. Uh, <laughs> right, right. Onto the triple word. It's off the Coke just 
boosts everything to the umpteenth level. So yeah, if you're thinking about it, oh, you know, I'll go with this guy. We'll fuck around a little, a little coke, and you're just yeah, hop in, <laughs> jump right in my vagina. <laughs> and now it's all in court. Why? I'll tell you, it's simple because Aaron snitched on everybody, told all of their dirty laundry. Yeah. One guy, we only have his perspective. That's it. And the rest of them haven't said anything, obviously. But yeah, it's, God, I mean, like uh, to cease to control the narrative. He wanted that so bad that he just like, I'm just going to spill everything. And I think he was kind of afraid that, you know, if he didn't get it out first, that. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes, you know, getting ahead of it works. Other times it's just like, well, all you're doing is self-confessing. -conf it's mm -hmm. really bad. Yeah, <laughs> It's not like something you could go, oh, yeah, yeah, I did that. But let me explain or say I'm getting ahead of it. But that's just like, oh, yeah, I, I was cucked by this fucking disgraced lawyer. And my wife ran off a uh, cokehead and, you know, fuck this guy and his wife and she won't come home and you're like oh that's not really getting ahead of it that's just you saying the awful thing that happened <laughs> yeah you stood unaccused and now right, right. <laughs> what I, it's not the way i would have gone did you no, see no. april was in court of course and uh, uh let's see it's on a different thing but uh let's start let's do another uh speak of the devil here I sucked the huge dong of my Cumia blow up doll. I chalked on it and threw up my vodka and coleslaw all over the dong. Like a good piggy, I cleaned up the mess with my mouth, just like I could clean up Cumia's ass with my mouth. Like a good piggy pig. I'm really kind of glad we didn't do that before TJ got here. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah.